going to do a video today with Izzy right here. Izzy's going to show us, uh, do a quick like video series actually on dodos and why you want to use them and why they're OP. So I'm going to let her take it from there and she's going to show you how to tame your first dodo. Hiya. So yeah, I found dodos to be really, really useful. So I really wanted to just go over how to tame them. It's a really good tutorial just for the start as well. So I'm just going to go through everything for you. Um, the first thing that I wanted to mention is you want to be hitting it with your fist most likely because they don't have a lot of health and if you hit them with anything else they're probably just going to die. So you just want to go ahead and hit them and then they should fall unconscious after about three to five hits. So try it on this one. <laughs> Unconscious. You want to try and hit, punch them slowly because if you do it too quickly, you'll find that um, you could potentially knock it unconscious after, well, kill it after you knock it unconscious. Um, so, obviously, with this dodo, I've put in two types of berries, which is how it's tamed. Um, you've got the Mija berry, which is its favorite berry essentially. So, you can use any berries, but this one will make it faster. Um, and then the Narca berries, which are to make sure that it stays. Um, stays asleep. So um, you can see how quickly it's going to wake up by using the torpor or the unconscious meter. Um, so you've just got to make sure that that doesn't reach zero or else it will wake up. Um, and you tend to be able to find that the higher that you keep the unconscious meter, the better the taming will go. Um, so I'm just going to force feed it, which is the remote use item um, button right at the bottom. Um, so you have to highlight the, the knock berry and then click on that to actually force feed it. And then you'll see that the, um, the unconscious meter goes back up again. Um, the other thing to mention about knock berries is as well as keeping them asleep, they do actually reduce the food meter. So you will find that the more knock berries you use, the faster they will actually eat food. Um, You've just got to keep an eye then on the taming meter. So if you uh, come out of the main menu, you'll be able to see the taming meter along with the unconscious meter. Um, you can normally leave them alone for a while, run off, get some new berries or try and do something else. But I tend to find that it takes such a short time that you might as well just babysit it as long as you've got the right amount of berries. Um, so this one's already more than halfway tamed. Um, you don't realistically need as many berries as I put in there, but I thought that just to make sure that everything's okay, we'd give it that many. Um, and then once it gets through the taming process, you'll be able to tame it. Um, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Whoops. <laughs> um, shouldn't take too much longer. And uh, One thing you'll notice, guys, it, 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 the taming effectiveness dropped as she just donkey punched that thing right in the back. <laughs> So if you do do damage to it, you will reduce your taming effectiveness. It can be a very effective way of keeping it unconscious if you are running out of berries, but it reduces taming effectiveness. And there we go. We have a dodo which is tamed. Uh, what do you want to name it, Dan? Uh, Franklin. Oh, it's a girl. Uh, Norman, then. <laughs> Norman? Yeah, that should be good. It's a good girl name. Norman? Give it a complex. 